So it's around 6.30. I just woke up, made my bed, got ready and everything. Um, I'm about to eat some breakfast, make some coffee, and then pretty much all day, I'm gonna be studying for my four finals that I have this week. So yeah, welcome to a study day in my life. All right, so I'm about to start working for the day. And if I don't have like a deadline that's later today or some sort of homework that's due, I usually start by reading or writing every single morning, doing something like that, because that's what I genuinely enjoy and I wanna do more of that. So I'm probably gonna start going through my Insta paper and read some articles and take notes over them in Rome research today, so yeah. So this is my Rome research setup. If you know anything about Rome, you'll know that it starts off with a daily note which is today, December 14th, as you can see right here. It's blank because I haven't written anything so far. But um, if you go down to yesterday's daily note, you'll notice that I started taking notes over this article called The Holloway Guide to Using Twitter. So I'm probably gonna finish that up right now, reading through that and taking notes over it, just because I'm trying to get better at using Twitter and this is supposed to be a really comprehensive guide to doing that. So the way I take notes for articles is I'll usually follow the predefined structure of the article if it's a longer one. So for this article, there are already like pre-headings here. So there's big headings here and subheadings there because it's a longer article. So I'll usually follow those that are already given to me because it keeps me on track. And then I'll go through each one and rephrase the important points in my own words and put those in my notes. So because this article is very comprehensive, there are a lot of points that don't directly apply to what I want to do on Twitter. So I'm not writing those down. I'm just putting down the stuff that I find unique or that resonates with me, mainly so I can go back to my notes of this article and get the key insights. So I usually structure my notes like this right here. You can see all there are three headings so far. And yeah, I just try to rephrase it in my own words as I go along. So it's around 10 a.m. right now. I finished reading and I think I'm gonna start preparing for my finals now. So I have four finals to study for, computer science, computer engineering, biology, and economics. For all my finals except for computer engineering, I actually get to use my notes on them, which is really nice. So I wanna spend the rest of today filling out those notes and padding them so they're as useful as possible. My notes for computer science are already pretty good, so I'm gonna work on mostly biology and economics for today. So right now I'm skimming through all the lecture videos and making notes over the content. Because I'm able to use these notes on the final, I'm not worrying about memorization. Normally, I wouldn't spend as much time making notes as note-taking itself isn't that great for memorization. However, this time I get to use them on the test. This is why I'm devoting an entire study session to making them. You'll notice that I'm still writing myself questions. This is because I might come back to these in the future. So I want questions so I can test myself later on. Also, at this point, I'm pretty used to writing questions for myself, so that's my default note-taking style regardless of my plan to test myself or not. I'm also watching the lectures at 2.5 to 3 times speed, because usually the professors talk pretty slowly, and this is a great way to cut down the time cost by a significant margin. All right, so I just finished up with biology for the day. I'm probably going to grab some lunch because it's like 12.30 right now, and then I'll come back and start off with economics. So my food is in the oven right now, but I just got an email from this internship I applied to giving me an acceptance. And I'm actually really happy about that because I was worried that I wasn't going to get any internships this summer. So I would just not be able to do anything because I applied to a bunch of them, but I didn't get any replies yet. But yeah, I guess I have somewhere to go this summer. After lunch, I took a little break, but ended up getting sucked into the world of the YouTube algorithm. So it's around two o'clock. I don't know where the last hour went, but I'm about to study for my economics final. And I just got this book, The Art of Learning by Josh Waitskin. I originally listened to it on Audible, but I'm planning on making a book club video about it, which is why I got the physical copy about some of the insights and lessons that this guy teaches. This book is a memoir by Josh Waitskin, who is this guy who's incredible at learning any new art. 
So when he was a kid, he was a chess prodigy. He won national championships. He was one of the best in the world. In his teenage years, he ended up becoming the Tai Chi world champion. And right now he's learning how to surf. He's trying to become like the world champion at that too. So he basically goes through like the lessons that he's learned and techniques that you can use to learn any sort of art or skill really fast and really well. So I'm planning on going through this in the future. Anyway, on to economics. I'm basically doing the same thing here as I did with biology. Because I get to use my notes in the final, I'm focusing on creating detailed ones with screenshots and explanations. One important thing I'm doing is rephrasing the concepts in my own words. Because the details can be abstract, I'm making sure to put down my understanding to check if I really get it. By the way, I use Notion for all of my academic notes as you can see. So it's about four right now. I am probably done with all like the university studying I'm gonna do for the day. I might edit some videos later on or do some more reading, but I'm planning on going to the gym right now. I'm always worried about filming in the gym because I don't want someone to like see me filming in the gym. That would be awkward. By the way, I'm, I'm talking into my microphone and my phone, which is why you'll see me like with this all the time because the microphone on this camera is terrible and I don't have an external one. But anyway, See you at the gym. It's so dark outside and it's only four o'clock. This is the problem with winter. I'm at the gym right now and there's no one else here, but the fact that I have audiobooks and podcasts to listen to while I'm lifting has made it 10 times more likely that I'm actually gonna show up at the gym because it's just pure entertainment and fun. And I usually don't listen to stuff while I'm just laying around. I usually have to be doing something and going to the gym is one of those options. So I think it's definitely increased my frequency of gym going at least by five times. So I'd highly recommend listening to audiobooks and podcasts if you want to exercise more. So I just got back from the gym like a couple of minutes ago. I'm probably going to spend the rest of today editing this video that you're watching right now and doing some more reading and then maybe just like wasting more time and laying around because I'm on track with all of my studying for my finals. I finished off economics and biology and CS. So I just have computer engineering that I'm not like 100% confident in. Um, so yeah. I ended up taking the night off and relaxing and de-stressing for the rest of the time. Before I go to bed, I usually like to dedicate at least 30 minutes to reading. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this study with me slash day in the life, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video.